Hello everybody and welcome back to another Rockabilly guitar lesson and this one is called how to play walk the line the right way. And with the right way I mean Luther Perkins style, the way he did it back at Sun Records. Because you can play walk the line any way you want of course, there's no right or wrong. But most of the bands I see, and there are thousands of cover bands now, uh, they want to play it like Luther did it, but they're missing a very essential subtle detail to his playing a technique that he uses not only in walk the line but also in many other songs as well but before i show you the lead guitar part i want to talk about the rhythm guitar too because that's very essential for the sound in walk the line let's have a listen to the original again here a few bars on the 78 <laughs> You may have noticed that scratchy sound that almost sounds like a snare drum played with brushes. This is the sound actually coming from the acoustic guitar, which Johnny Cash plays. The chord structure to walk the line is rather complex. I attached the whole chords uh, to this lesson, but Johnny just avoided everything and just muted the strings. So when you see him on the TV shows, he does it like this, just holding his hand over the strings like this. But uh, in the studio, at least that's uh, what we're told, um, they use a dollar note. And I have a two dollar bill right here, which actually has some history related to Walk the Line because uh, this note was given to us by uh, the mayor of Gladewater. And Gladewater in Texas is the town where Johnny Cash wrote Walk the Line. We went there last year and the ladies from the museum of Gladewater, they treated us really nice, made some um, homemade banana bread pudding Elvis style and they showed us around town, the high school where Elvis used to play back in 55 and also a radio station where they were hanging out, Johnny Cash as well. Uh, so it's still a lot of history to see in Gladewater and I can only highly recommend this place. But let's use this dollar bill now to get this sound. So I put it through the strings here. You want to make sure to wrap the dollar bill here through all the strings. So they're all muted. So that it should look something like this and I put my left hand here on this end of the guitar just to hold it and um, just mute the strings even more. And then I play the rhythm with my right hand. And there you have it, the walk the line sound. So let me show you the rhythm again in detail. If you're a beginner, you probably appreciate it if I go a little slower here. So I start on the bass strings on one and just hitting the E and B string, uh, not too loud, subtle. Then on two, I strum down full force all the six strings. One and two and two and I come back up and I strum the E, B and G string. Not as loud as I came down. One, one and two and three. Again, I hit the bass strings. Four. Full force down. Four and coming up, just the E, B, and G string. And this is one full bar. So let me put this together. It should sound something like this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Speed it up. Mm -hmm. 
This lesson is actually part of a whole course that is coming up in November 2018 on Udemy and which will cover 10 songs that were recorded in the 1950s in Memphis, Tennessee at the Sun Records Studios. So keep your eyes open for that one. And then I want to thank Johannes for playing bass on all the gem tracks for this course. If you ever are in the need for a bass player in Hannover, Germany, please check him out. I have the link in the description below. And if you haven't done yet, please subscribe to my channel to never miss a lesson. Check out my Patreon page for exclusive videos, gem tracks and tabs. But now, without further talking, let's play it Luther style. As I've mentioned before in the introduction, the song is in the key of F and to make things easier, I use a capo here on the first fret. But feel free to tune up a half step like they did on live shows at least. I'm not sure about the studio, but I guess it was the same. And I'll show you the basic version first and then I'll show you how Luther did it. So in the basic version the first run goes like this. You start with an open E string, play the 2nd fret, 4th fret, then you go to the open A string, back to open E and open A again. And when I say 2nd fret, I mean the 2nd fret after the capo, which is in fact the 3rd fret of the guitar. Yeah? But uh, always refer to the numbers after the capo and that's also represented in the tabs. So one more time, the first run. And then you repeat the run, but starting on the A string, open A string. So you play open A, 2nd fret, 4th fret, and then open D, A, D. Let me repeat everything we've got so far. And you see me using the middle finger and the pinky here. You can also use the index and the ring finger if that feels better for you. Especially for beginners where the pinky is not as developed yet, I think this might be more comfortable. So then on the next run, you basically go back to uh, the way you came here. D string, fourth fret A string, 2nd fret, A string, and open A. Yeah? Then you play the 2nd fret on the D string, and open A again. Let's play this part. Then very similar, but starting on the A string, But the last notes are both on the 2nd fret, this time on the A string. So what we get so far is this. finish line here. Next run. Starting on the open E string, 2nd fret, open E string again, 2nd on the A string and 1st on the D string. I'm going to time this part. And then the last run. So this last run starts here on the A string 2nd fret, open A, 4th fret E, 2nd fret E, open 
E string and then it's always back and forth between E string open and 2nd fret on the A string. Like this. So let's put everything together. Johnny starts to sing. This is all cool and I think this is how at least 90% of the bands are playing it now, but if you really listen closely you can hear Luther doing something like this. So what Luther is doing, and this is also not just in Walk the Line, but in many solos, between the runs he will use the chords, finger the chords. So it starts with an A chord and I use my index for the D, G and B string. You can use the A chord like this or Buddy Holly style like that here, whatever feels best for you. And then you play the open A string and then with your fingers you brush all of the strings down and up like like this and then you play the E string like this so you have this subtle boom chick boom even in walk the line and this is supported by the rhythm guitar of course as well and then for D, the same thing, you play grab a D chord and play the D string and with your fingers down, up, brushing over the strings and it goes back to A and then to E Then the run to B7. And back to E. And uh, for you who don't know the B7, it goes like this. Pretty easy to remember. Starting with your pinky on the E string, second fret, then B string is open. Ring finger takes second on the G string and I would leave the D string open for now. Put the middle finger on the second fret of the A string and then the index is left and you put it on the space between the middle and ring finger first fret on the D string. And this is a B7 chord. So let me put this up to speed and I'll show you how it sounds. <laughs> 